we used to farm 900 acres. Now we've downsized. We show the Clydesdales. We have about 25 to 30 Clydes on the farm. Uh, breed, raise, sell, show. Plow horses and show horses. We uh, breed both. Uh, I've got about uh, 12 Clydesdale horses around home, brood mares, and I've got my own stallion. And uh, we've been breeding horses now for, well, it's about third, fourth generation. So my dad was in them, I'm into them, so now my son's taking over. So. It's a family operation, you can't do this by yourself. And uh, my son and wife and my daughter and other son are all involved in the, in the farm and help out when they can. That's how we come up with the name uh, Five Point Clydes. There's five in our family. Okay. And so we just thought Five Point. I personally like the Clydes because they're, they're more gentle to work with. I, uh, well, I'm getting up in years and I like a horse that's kind of quiet and my grandkids are working around them and they're, they're quiet. I've had all breeds and I find the Clyde the more the gentle giant of them all. You can't beat them. The typical Clydesdales, your Budweiser Clyde, four, bay with four white feet and a white stripe, 18 hands tall, proud standing horse. You breed for the sound feet, good hawks, uh, depth of body. Uh. Lots of power, uh, calm. Good, uh, good, sensible feel of uh, lines. Heads up, slope of shoulder, all that's got to be calculated in, and you got to be smart. A good horseman smart enough to recognize where the horse, what the horse is good at. Trust is a big thing. You, uh, you have to have a trust between the plowman, the teamster, and your horse. If you don't have that trust, it just doesn't work out. Uh, if we just hook a team, that's the easiest to describe. Uh, there's an order of operations, like the the harness is all on, and the lines are strung to the bits on one side. You, you bring the horses up, the right hand, the left hand horse. Uh, you hook your cross lines up and the lines go up to a guy in the wagon first because that's a safety aspect. The guy always has control of the horse. There's a certain step you hitch horses and you always follow that step and chances are you won't have too many problems. Safety is when you're out in functions, even at fairs anywhere, safety is top priority with me anyways. Well, we're, we're training a team right now. The, the big fella to the next of us here, we've plowed with uh, him and it takes a bit a year, two years. We go out every night for a while and walk them up and down the fur and get them used to it. Your heart's in it. I, I love the horses, so, uh, so that's why I enjoy it. So.